Hello and welcome to TNO TPR and today we're looking at some new e-liquids from Decaton Vapor. Okay, so today we are looking at some more new e-liquids from Decaton Vapor. I say more because my last video was on Flavor Arts, who um, also were bringing out their own flavors. Um, so it seems all these uh, concentrate companies are starting to bring out their own e-liquids, which is a good thing, you know, they should know best, you know, they make the flavors for us to make the flavors, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, <laughs> it should be good. Right, let's dive down. I'll show you what you get if you were to buy them yourself, and then we come up and we can have a little chat about them. Okay, so the other day this turned up, and as you will see inside, we have got some juices. And as you will also see, we have got the big DV on there. Now, if you don't know, these are obviously Dickerton Vapors. And um, they do their own sort of um, e-liquid concentrate stuff like that and do some e-juices and stuff. Now, I was actually involved in the process of this in the very, very beginning. They sent me some before they were really released or had any artwork or anything, and I did try them out. Um, now, we can kind of mention that a bit. I, I don't want to mention too much about the sort of pre-released ones because obviously they were pre-released. They weren't as good as they should have been. So I am hoping that they are better. Um, if they're not, obviously, I'll tell you. But yeah, I am hoping they are better because there was a couple of things wrong with them. Maybe not strong enough, not enough fears, blah, blah, blah. Um, so these are the finished products. And um, they did also send me the nicotine, which is absolutely fantastic. And as you can see, it's a slush range. So you've got blue slush, red slush, and green slush. So obviously that's like a raspberry, a strawberry or a berry, something like that. And then obviously an apple. Now, what do they actually say on them? They are short fill bottles. They are a 60 ml bottle with 50 ml concentrate and VGPG in. You just add your 10 ml nicotine to make it three milligram, as you would expect. Um, 7030 VGPG. And that is about all it tells us on here. So when we go up, we can have a look as we vape them and find out. But if I remember rightly, yeah, they were. That was like a, a blue raspberry, that type of flavor. Um, like a strawberry and then like an apple so yeah it's gonna be interesting to see what they're like um, I do quite like the artwork it's a very out there it makes your eyes go a bit funny actually looking at that and um, <laughs> like a rainbow effect but um, yeah um, let's not mess around um, I'll speed this up no point boring you I'm gonna quickly stick the nicotines in them and then we can go up and we can give them a try and see how they are All right let's get on with it Okay, so there they are. We have got green slush, blue slush, and red slush. Now, as I said, I was involved in the beginning, um, and they actually sent me these three here, which I don't know if you'll be able to make out on there. They are sort of unbranded, and these were sort of like one of the first stages that they tried them. Um, I did try them out for them, and I got back to them and let them know what I thought on it. Um, they never actually emailed back um, after I sent them my comments, um, so I'm not sure exactly what happened there, but... Um, Never mind, um, let's hope they've made the right changes. Because um, <laughs> to be honest, the original ones were a little bit lackluster, let's say that. And um, they did need improvement. So it's going to be interesting to see what they've actually done now. They've actually, looks like they're actually going to sell them. Um, because, you know, it's all about the honesty. These were sent to me for this review, but I will only be honest. The original ones weren't good enough in my mind to be sold to the public. Um, so I'm hoping they've made good changes to them. Now, I'm not going to start telling you all my notes on the original ones because I don't think that's fair. You know, that was part of the process of getting to the end result. And that's what all that really matters is that end result. So, um, right, let's not mess around. Let's get trying them. So, as always, I'm going to be using my Vanity Vegan model, my Gunnar DA on top. Same build I've done from the very, very beginning. And it's basically stainless steel wire wrapped six times around a 3.5mm rod, just like you'd get in any normal sort of DIY building kit. Um, there's two of them. It's coming out today at 0 0.29 ohms. And let's get trying them, shall we? I'm going to go with green slush first. Now, green slush range. I do like these labels, I must admit. They kind of make your eyes go a bit freaky. Um, but I do like them. Right. So green slush is basically apple, I believe, rightly. Bear with me. Let me find it online just to make sure. Um, right, yeah. So it just says it's a refreshing citrus delight. Um, sherbet lemon mixed with lime, a twist of lime, and a drop of ice for refreshment. Now, I'm hoping it is a drop of ice. The original ones um, they sent were just a drop of ice, and I didn't mind them at all. It was just, it just gave you a nice sort of like, fresh feeling afterwards, which I don't mind. Um, if you don't watch my channel regularly, you won't know. I'm not a massive, massive fan of the ice, um, especially when it's like the extreme type ices. I, I'm not a particular fan of that feeling. I don't like feeling like my whole body's been frozen um in saying that as i've said before in different climates like hotter climates i can understand why you'd want a bit of ice um because 
vaping on like a, a heavy, warm custard in 30-odd degree weather don't seem right. Um, and it's nice to have that freshness there. So I can understand that, but obviously living in the UK, we don't have that weather. <laughs> we need to keep warm in any way we can. Right, anyway, let's not mess around. Let's try this. Smell-wise, it smells pretty decent. It does smell very limey. Mm, very limey. Let's give it a go. That is not bad at all. It tastes like... Do you remember the old lemon and lime um, slush puppies used to get? It tastes like that. It tastes exactly like that. That's, that is pretty decent. And yeah, that ice is perfect for me. It's just enough to sort of clear out your sort of nasal passages, shall we call them. Um, <laughs> but um, it's not overwhelming. It doesn't feel like it's going down my throat and freezing out my lungs sort of thing. So that is pretty decent. Um, that's good. That is good. As I say, as always, these are honest reviews and I will only be honest, and that is very good. That is very good indeed. Um, as always, I'll do my scoring from one to 10, or zero to 10, zero being throw in the bin, don't even bother, and 10 being absolutely amazing. Um, I'm gonna give that an eight. That is pretty decent. Um, that may go up, I just don't wanna over range myself. <laughs> I don't wanna go in with like a nine now and then find the other one's better. You know, so I'm gonna give that an eight for now, but that, that is very, very good. I like that a lot. Yeah, you initially get that sort of lime flavour, then that lemon sort of comes through, and there's that slight ice left with a nice sort of sweet feeling in your mouth as well, but not overly sweet. It's not overpowered. That is pretty good. I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. Yeah. Okay, let me change the scones. Let's come back and let's try Red Slush. Okay, so we're back now and been loading this up. Now, a Red Slush, if I can find it, where is it? Where is it? Um, oh, I found blue slush, green slush, red slush. There we go. Right, they're on sale at the moment as well. I should say it does say they're normally ten pound for sixty mil short fill, so it's a you know a sixty mil bottle with fifty mil e liquid in there, ten mil space at the top for your nicotine, um, and it is normally ten pound. At the moment, you can get them for eight pound, which I don't think is bad at all, if I'm honest. Um, if you wanted to add in your three milligram, does that add that to it as well? Doesn't seem to be adding that into it. Let me put it in the basket, see if that makes any difference. How much they're charging you for your nicotine is what I want to find out. Okay. Okay, it says free meal strength is still eight pounds. So are you getting the nicotine for free? I'm assuming you're getting that nicotine for free then. If that's the case, that's very good. So yeah, eight pounds um, for free milligram by the looks of it. Um, it doesn't add any more to the value when you add your nicotine on there. So I'm assuming that is the case. Um, but anyway, let's get on with it. So, you know, eight pounds, that's not bad at all, I don't think. You know, it's not the cheapest in the world, but it's not that expensive. And I don't mind that. Um, I would happily pay more than that for the green slush. So let's hope they're all the same. So a red slush gives you a fruity red slush flavour with tones of cherry and strawberry and a t twist of kiwi and a drop of ice again. So hopefully it won't be too overpowering with the ice again. If you can keep it that sort of level of the green, then I'll be more than happy. Let's give it a go. Uh, right, honesty, um, that's not as good as the green, if you ask me. It's still pretty decent, but it's not as good as the green. You, you initially get that sort of cherry hit the back of your throat first, and it's like a real super sweet sort of concentrated cherry. And then that just dies out, and that strawberry just comes over and then takes over the recipe. And again, you're left with a nice sort of sweet, but not over sweet, sort of cool sort of feeling in your mouth. That is really nice again. Yeah, just as you think that cherry is going to become too much, it just fades off and that strawberry just comes out of nowhere and just rescues that recipe again sort of thing. So that works very well. And I do like a complex e-liquid like this. Um, you know, when you're getting these ranges of flavours there, I mean, it's very easy to just throw a load of flavours in there and you get a generic flavour at the end. But when they sort of layer like that, where you're getting like a kick of something and something else coming through, it's absolutely fantastic. And again, it's very, very good. It's just not as good as the green for me. So I'm going to give that one a seven. Um, right, let's change these cottons. Last one, let's try Blue Slush. Okay, so Blue Slush, um, to be honest, out of all the slushes that I have tried, Blue Slush is probably my favourite. Um, I just like that sort of flavour. So what are they saying? This is 
Uh, mouth watering blend of raspberries and peach. Oh, okay, this is slightly different. It's got peach in there. Not a fan of peach. Um, with a hint of berry. Okay, that's not the gen. That's not the normal blue that I'd expect. Blue would normally be like a blue raspberry type fi uh, sort of flavour, which is the flavour that I generally like. So this is saying it's got, it's got blue raspberries, but it's got a peach and a hint of berry. Okay, so let's see what this is going to be like. That could be, could be different. Um, hmm, not sure what I think now. I assumed it was just going to be a blue raspberry. But okay, let's give it a go. This is more like a, it's not, but it's, it's, it's kind of along the same lines as like a Heisenberg. That's what I'm getting from that. You initially get that blue raspberry, a bit like the cherry on the other one. And you think, oh yeah. And then that sort of peach comes through and then the berries. And then it kind of morphs into some kind of Heisenberg flavor. Um, if you like Heisenberg, I'm sure you'll like this. Um, however, I'm not a fan of Heisenberg at all. Um, it's not not my flavor profile at all. Um, a little bit disappointed with that one, if I'm honest. I thought it was going to be a nice blue raspberry. But no, it's uh, it's not. <laughs> it tastes a little bit drier as well. It hasn't got that nice sort of sweet cooling kick at the end. It's more like a um, a bit of cooling, but then you're kind of left with almost like a, a dry sensation in your mouth. It's not as, it's not enough to say it's a dry sensation, but it's not. It's not as sort of juicy and as nice as the other two. Um, I'm going to give that one a six. I'm not a fan of that one. Um, yeah, for me, the peach, uh, I don't I don't see a peach in like a slushy type drink. Um, if that had been just like the other ones, like a nice blue raspberry with the icy sort of sweet taste to it, it would be beautiful. But yeah, I'll give that one a six. Not a fan of that one. Okay, well, that's the end of the video. As always, it's an honest review. I can only be honest. Everyone's flavour is different. You might agree with me. You might absolutely disagree with me and that's perfectly fine and that's the way the world works and um, but for me i wouldn't recommend the blue um, i would definitely recommend the red and the green and i'll be honest at this sale price of eight pound mind you it's only 10 pound before and assuming you do get that free milligram nicotine for the same eight pound i think that is a pretty good deal if i'm honest with you that's not bad at all yeah i, I would definitely recommend them too as i say i would not recommend the blue unless you really really like that heisenberg flavor I'd probably stay clear of that. As I say, it's not it's not a Heisenberg flavour, but it is kind of that profile. Um, so yeah, if you like that type of thing, I'm sure it'll be fine. But if not, stay clear of that one. But yeah, the blue and the green are actually really decent. I, I quite like them a lot. Um, as always, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do hit that like button. If you're not subscribed already, please do subscribe. We'd love you to have you join us in our little community. Apart from that, I'll see you again soon.